Hi, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here. And if you're going to use an emergency rescue tool like the Survival Edge knife from Cold Steel with the fire starter, you need to keep in mind that you can't just drop sparks onto sticks or twigs or pine needles and expect it to start a fire. When you're using a sparking device or a flint and steel device, you need to be able to capture those little embers, those tiny embers, they have to be captured in something that is very, very dry and very, very brittle so you can get your fire going. You can't just put sparks onto a log and start an emergency fire. You say, well, all right, I'm out hiking, I'm camping, I'm out in the woods and everything's kind of moist or damp and I really don't have anything good to catch the sparks. Do you have a girlfriend with you, a wife, a sister, a female type person? Ask them to fish around in their purse and come up with one of these guys. That's right. This is your standard generic maxi pad. Now what you want to do, take your survival edge, cut this open. You're going to cut it open and you're going to expose all of that little soft, absorbent, really, really dry material. Uh, Catch it. All right, it's on fire. Okay, cool. All right, now the pad's on fire. We already pre-staged our kindling. We pre-staged our, our little uh, pine needles. We have our tiny little sticks to get us going. Okay, using the survival edge knife with the fire starter from Cold Steel, a generic maxi pad, some sticks and twigs, we now have a survival fire and we're ready to go. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget to leave your comments below. To subscribe, click right here. To learn more about firearms training, click right here. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Student of the Gun.